Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Cano Computer Kit. It's a small, child-friendly computer kit that's based around the Raspberry Pi, and the company is updating their, their setup to use the Raspberry Pi 3. So when they asked if they could send me one to test, I said, sure, why not? I'd like to test out the Raspberry Pi 3. And while I don't normally do unboxing and first look videos these days, because there's really not that much interesting to say about something the first time you open it, um, I did start to open up this box, realized how interesting the packaging alone is, and decided to go ahead and put everything back in the box so I could open it up and show you. So first thing that you'll notice here is that we actually have a picture of the kit and the Raspberry Pi and all of its accessories here on the box. And that's the top. On the bottom, we can see uh, some of the other components. And then when you open it up, everything's sort of laid in here nicely. There's two sort of informational books that come inside the case. The first one, the first one tells you how to put everything together. And for the most part, uh, you can probably figure a lot of this out without the book, but it's very well written, focuses on pictures, and is designed to be easy for uh, children to understand. And then once you have everything up and running, there's the code samples book that helps encourage kids to learn how to uh, do basic programming. You can also decorate the computer using all sorts of stickers that come in the box. Now, as I mentioned, I did open this up previously, so there's a couple of extra parts in here. We've got some technical information on a guide here and a keyboard and touchpad, which I'll show you more in a moment. Some cables, including an HDMI cable and a power cable, Raspberry Pi itself, a case, a speaker, power adapter, and a couple of other things. So let's take a quick look. Here's the case, the computer, some little feet on the bottom here for the case, micro SD cards and adapter. So that's where the operating system and storage is. A USB wireless adapter. And in this case, we've got a US power adapter. And then this is actually the top of the case that's designed to plug in and give it a speaker. So I'll show you how all of these things fit together. First up, let's go ahead and take the computer and put it in its case. Slide this into the bottom. Okay. I left the keyboard attachment in there. And the bottom part just sort of snaps together. Well, it does when you're not trying to do it on camera anyway. There we go. So the bottom is snapped in place. Actually, it's bent a little out of place. Please that out, make sure you're lined up, snaps into place. Now you can insert the memory card or the storage card here. Connect the wireless. And as I mentioned, the keyboard attaches via another USB port. It's a little tight fit. Now for the speaker, it, you want to plug in the power first. You do that actually so that the green Cables are using the bottom part here. So that has to be lined up. If that's not lined up just right, you'll have trouble booting. And then we can close the top and attach the lid. And that also snaps into place. When the cables aren't in the way. There we go. And then run the audio cable into the audio output. Next up, let's go ahead and plug it into the uh, display using 
this included HDMI cable. And then finally, we're going to plug in power. And that just goes to the micro USB port. When everything's done, we heard the computer sort of crackle there. Everything's powering up. We get a little beeping noise. And a message on the screen saying that the piano is powering up. Now on the keyboard, there's a power button here on the side. And when you turn it on, you'll see a little light there showing that it's connected. Now it also works as a Bluetooth keyboard. So you can use it not only with the Kano, but with other things as well. So this is the first boot menu, and it's asking what we'd like to uh, be called. I'm going to go ahead and type in my name. And that's the start of this sort of child-friendly walkthrough explaining how to use the system. CD rabbit hole. Now, because this is aimed at children, the keys on the keyboard are pretty small and can make typing for a grown-up a little bit difficult, but it's, it's doable. Uh oh And the idea is to make learning how to use a computer fun and uh, so far, it seems to be pretty interesting here. So we've got a graphical user interface coming up here because of uh, the instructions that I followed. So this is a quick look at the new version of the Kano Computing Kit based on the Raspberry Pi. It's not the cheapest way to get your hands on a Raspberry Pi, but it does include a case, the keyboard, the wireless adapter, uh, the HDMI cable, the power adapter, easy to understand instructions. And again, it's designed for children to learn how to use a computer. So I'll have more details once I've sort of walked through more of these steps and found out a little bit more about how the Kano works. I also wanted to sort of test the, uh, the Raspberry Pi while I've got it here and see what else I can do with it. So thanks to Kano for sending me this demo unit. I'm uh, looking forward to testing it a little bit further. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing and a look at the Raspberry Pi 3 based Kano computing kit.